Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another ICP internet computer update. We want to talk about the ICP price set because we have been talked about this in the last three days really because everything was going well so I thought like you know what there is nothing to make an update on really because we had the price set that we were looking at something like $16 since we were down here from our support level so we managed to get that. Congratulations to everybody who managed to take profits right there right. So obviously the next question is like yes the market is really red right now. What is going to happen next with the ICP price set right. So let's quickly talk about that but before getting into the technical analysis i want to kindly ask you to help me spread the video by delicately tapping the like button it's just helps the youtube algorithm people looking for icp internet computer updates will not be able to find this video much more easily and if you haven't subscribed to the channel just yet i would encourage you to do so really because i do ta on icp and a number of outcomes and without me further running my mouth too much let's get back into this price right here so we are seeing resistance right on top i mean just on that you know price that we were looking at we went slightly higher than that that was something like sixteen dollars three uh, thirty cents. Sorry. So uh, from there we are looking at resistance here, and then we also had a recent uh, crash in the market there, right? So we want to see where exactly we are headed. Are we gonna continue higher to our next price target, which is actually something like twenty three dollars, as we have been talking about? So I mean, here let me quickly uh, tell you the kind of action that usually happens when things like this happen in the market. You can see this flash crash that you see here, right? And from here to have a clear direction as to what is going to happen next, you just have to go ahead and grab your fibro adjustment too, right? You grab it from the very top here to the very bottom. And now what we want to see for a continuation is a break of this top uh, retracement levels. We are looking at something like 0.618 fibro adjustment level, so that's something like fourteen dollar sixty six. Uh, up to something like fifteen dollars. Usually, the most important actually here is the seven all to fibro adjustment level. So, if you break and close above something like uh, fifteen dollars thereabout, that would actually be indicating that we are going to continue to the upside. So, keep these levels in mind. We are looking at something like fifteen dollars. If we break, a, 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 you know, a candle, the same we are looking at the hourly time frame. So, we need maybe a couple of them or something like that to have that confirmation thereabout. Right on the flip side the trade here that would be taking if you are anticipating lower prices than you know twelve dollars here you would see a rejection in one of these fibro adjustment level right this is just a challenge that there are so much of them right there are so many of them sorry so we are taking a look at something like if we get rejected if we fail to break and close so something like fifteen dollars right here right we are going to continue to the downside here breaking even something like twelve dollars right here and then setting a new law here back to i don't know which support levels will be headed to but really does it change anything here on the bigger picture no it really doesn't change anything and obviously i mean people cannot stomach the idea of the price i mean from where we are sitting here down to something like 11 dollars that about is something like a 20 percent i mean it may sound unbelievable but this is something that happens time and again i mean just take a look back here at the market and you can see for example this crash here was actually something like 20 percent and uh this one right here take a look at this right this was actually something like 17 percent. so these things they happen time and again in this market you have seen them in the past weeks really happening so this is not something that is you know completely impossible but what i'm trying to say here is it doesn't really hurt the price that if something like this is to happen because we still have got a great structure that is pointing to something like 23 dollars that about right we were taking a look at it like this remember this is our flag and our pennant right there our flag point and pennant and uh, we are looking at something at 23 dollars not only are we looking at that we are also taking a look at the fibro adjustment levels right here right from our point of this value prior to this capitulation right here we are looking at i mean something like 23 dollars again from a fibro adjustment perspective so we have confluence that about take a look at this this is beautiful in my own opinion so really there is nothing worried but if you want to be interested in the short-term price action as i've said already it's really really clear the lines are drawn straight and nice and easy right here you are looking at your fib retracement too one more time saying that you know what if you just grab it like this here uh and also if you are trading actually i'll be posting some trades in my patreon later on but uh you know this is the trade in my own opinion that if you start uh, hitting this fib retracement levels we are looking at something like 15 dollars, especially 15 dollars uh here at the 702 if you break and close above it here uh then that is an indication that we are going to continue to the upside i'll actually be longing from there right with a nice uh, stop loss there but then again if you are going to short there you probably want to see you know the price being rejected with one of these favorite adjustment levels i mean the 0.618 is also one that usually rejects but i think uh, here the 702 carries much more weight that's just my own opinion seeing what has happened in the market time and again so if we fail to break a candle about this level here I think it will be lights out going down to something like uh, you know twelve dollars or something like that right there. So 
that is the trade there I'll be posting as I already said in my Patreon. But again, in the grand scheme of things, it really doesn't hurt the structure in any case. But so we are looking pretty good there. If you are just worried about what is happening in the market here, let me give you some kind of hope here because, uh, you know, there is really, really nothing to be worried about. We are just, you know, doing what the market has always done before. Here, take a look at this. This is, in my own opinion, very, very optimistic because we are looking at the, you know, total market cap of uh, our twins here. And you can see that we just had a perfect back test of this breakout that we had here take a look at this i mean this is wonderful this is amazing if you have been looking for an opportunity to buy okay if i would be looking for an opportunity to buy this is exactly where i'm buying and uh this is just fantastic obviously in the couple of days we may see you know a couple of green candles to the downside here just catching up with the liquidity of this week right here but in the general of things as i said already i think we are looking pretty good this is the best back test that we can ever get and uh our, I mean, we see we have got room to grow into here, especially for the outgoing market. Because here, I mean, from a few adjustment perspective, again, look, uh, we want, we're not even rejected by anything, and we still have got like room to grow to hit the 0.3H2 there. So, again, for me, not really worried about what is happening right there in the immediate short term. I think I've done a great job explaining uh, what you need to see for what should happen, right? So, that's pretty much it for me. Obviously, none of what I say is financial advice and you shouldn't buy or sell anything because of anything I say, all right? But if you like the content, don't forget to delicately tap the like button, share the video with your friends and family. And then I'll have to see you on the very next one. Take really good care of yourselves. Bye.